Hi everybody, my name is Aníbal Zevedo and now we are in the class number four of the tracks, second track about the... We are building a application of artificial intelligence in a container ship operation, on container ship port operation. So now we're going to continue uh, the developments of this second track and what are important now, what is important now, uh, we should develop uh, the loading rules. We developed in the last two classes uh, the unloading rules. So if you want to see this un unloading, the uh, unloading rules, I will post a card anywhere. And uh, now what's important, we're gonna need the container ship class that we saw in the track one. If you want to, to know more details about this class, I will post a card about the first track anywhere in this top in the top of this video so let's start code the uh, the first loading rule and what we have here uh, we already loaded the code uh, that we ended in the first track here we have the code okay so this is this environment google collab if you have uh, gmail you can access google collab for free since i have a, a, a one a Google uh, Gmail and also an account on Google Drive I can create a document a notebook where I can put any com Python command in this notebook and execute okay so I can create a new notebook and I can pose I can put any code any kind of code any kind of command of in Python so these co uh, commands I already explained in track one I built step by step. I'm now uh, loading these commands to see if everything is right, and also to load the container ship class because we're gonna need this container ship class because uh, this draw represents a container ship, a, a regular space, a grid space where we can put cargo, unload cargo from this, or put cargo, load cargo, and now we're gonna write some rule. Uh, loading rule how to put some cargo on a container ship so let's start to define so let i will remember that in the description of this video i will put uh, every code that we i'm doing now and you can copy this code or you can just uh, get here on file and save a copy on our drive or just and when you make this we will have a copy of this code on your drive or just uh, copy or select some parts and copy and save your, on your own notebook finally uh, i should define the function so the name of a function will not much creativity so i have uh, this name and two parameters the first parameter is the container ship object uh, CS container ship and also we have uh, this cargo list okay cargo list I can abbreviate this using as vec okay so I prefer to do, to make some abbreviation since I will use just this part of this code and I uh, in the next codes I will just call this function as by this name okay so uh what this function should do if i have some uh suppose that we i have a, a container ship and i have some cargo to load on this container ship so imagine that this lo uh, cargo can be represented as a list imagine now that we should load two containers which destination is port two and uh for the uh, containers which destination is port three and what else three three uh containers which destination port four and two containers which the de which destination port five one which destination port six and finally the last one container uh, which destination is port seven okay so now we define a kind of how many containers we should load to this container ship and uh, okay this is 
a, a, a very simple form and I can create also a container ship object here. I already created this object here since I've defined this variable C, uh, CS1. Sorry, I, I so if I define it in this first code here, in this part, I already defined this variable CS1. Okay, so if you see this code, we already defined the class and the, the, uh, this object CS1 as this class as this ship. This ship is totally uh, every space is occupied. So if I I'm trying to load something, I should uh, empty this space, this ship. Okay. So uh, what I have more here, I have to define the container ship. I could use the uh, the function empty. So now I will not have any more. I will have no more content uh, containers on container ship, and I can draw and show this. Okay, let's see. Uh, I can show here. Okay, it makes an, a kind of weird error here. Okay, it's that's because I I defined the function, and this function doesn't have any kind of let's return some uh, number of containers so this function should return after doing this not the number of movements okay so at this moment the number of movements is zero because we didn't do anything so okay that's now okay so i defined this the this function i didn't use this function at this moment uh, what is important i created a f uh, i called this uh, function empty and now the container ship is uh, has a lot of space to put cargo okay so now uh, what we are interested to use this loading function to make this loading function how this function will uh, work so I first define a, a kind of sort I will apply a sort because I'm interested not only on this cargo but in a particular way to order this cargo i will should use uh, the reverse sorting since i begin with the the container which destinations the the poor far the first the far west port and port seven and finally after this i will call I will use a letter to make more simple the CS CS cargo map. This uh, this is a reference for the cargo map or the space of the container ship. Since I will uh, search through the container ship space, empty spaces. So this case is a very very uh, easy way find an empty space but there there are some uh, some cases that that is not easy that easy so let's start to extract the container ship dimensions I will start by doing this so I can have the container ship uh, dimensions by doing this command okay so I use the M the variable m that is a reference to the space of the container ship and finally i will make any move equal to length of the number of containers in this vector why i'm doing this because uh, you should load these containers you don't care where but we will perform this the number of movements is equal to the number of containers here okay so if you have 10 containers we will do 10 movements no matter uh, where you put the containers the matter uh, of doing such thing loading uh, but not caring about where you put in the containers in the container ship is uh, we will see in the unloading room when we do 
uh, the when we apply the unloading rule you can see if the previously loading rules are bad or not so uh, and what is this i'm what the, the loading rule should do yeah first i will make count how many uh, containers i put on the container ship until i not loaded all containers i will not stop to search for some empty space so i'm supposing that i can uh, put every cargo that is in, on this uh, list i can put all containers in the container ship so it's already defined that that is this is, is feasible to do such thing okay so let's start now the loops what are the loops first i will uh, uh search for every bay so i i first have the the loop for uh, searching per bay so i start for a certain bay so i should use any bay and i should sh stop this loop if uh, the number of movements or the number of containers that i put on the container ship that i loaded on container ship is the is lower than the total number of movements that i should perform okay so uh, the second loop is about uh to search in columns so search empty space to put container in column so i select a fixed bay and then i fix it a certain column of a certain bay and start to search some uh some play empty space on this place okay finally i have this while uh and this what is i'm doing here so i selected a certain bay a certain column of this fixed bay and now i'm selecting searching and every row of this fixed column an empty space so i should verify i should verify if uh, uh, k a j is equal to zero okay so if it's equal to zero i can put some container there so i can select this empty space to uh, fill to be filled by a certain container that belongs to this list of uh, available cargo so also i should remember to see the next cargo in this list of cargo to be loaded on the container ship and also i'm update should update uh, the index of row the index of column and the index of bay so by doing this applying this procedure i will make a, a, a search on every bay on every column and every and every oh okay this is not okay now it's right and on every row for an empty space and if i find an empty space or, or a space with a zero value remember that an empty space is represented by a zero value you can put you can also uh, modify this uh, rule to find some uh, prohibited space so imagine imagine that you have minus one for pro, uh, for biden places okay so if you want to build some irregular uh, formats of, sh of, sh of ships you can use minus one for example to define these places that you cannot put any kind of container but i will not do this okay at this moment 
And what's more important than this? Oh, suppose that uh, you try to find some empty spaces, uh, but by doing this, uh, in, in, in some manner, you find some difficulties to put all cargo that you should need to put here in the container ship. So you should put uh, some warning here, a simple warning. And this simple warning will be this. If the total number of con uh, containers that you load in the container ships, uh, the container ship is lower than the total number of containers that you should load, uh, you put some warning, not enough space on ship. Okay. And after this, after this warning, you should return the number of movements. Remember that this number of movements is valid if you put all cargo in the container ship. You can also return not only this, but you can return, for example, you can uh, return, uh, you can remove this, and to be more precise, you can return this, for example. So this can be the number of movements, so remove this and the movement. And this will, will be more uh, interesting since it's related with the number of movements, no matter if you can put everything or not in the container ship. So I think this coding now is more correct and you uh, just eliminated one variable since, uh, yeah, but remember this, is also act as uh, a statement to stop the loop. So I can eliminate this variable. Okay, so let's redo everything that I made there. So this is the, the reason why I need this anymore, but I can uh, return not anymore, but just the count, okay? Why count? Because count if I can uh, load everything, it's okay. It's equal to n move, uh, the number of movements. But if it's not, uh, it's that's okay. That's what I made by doing uh, by loading this all this cargo. Okay. So now, uh, what is missing here? I should call this function, and let's see how I can call this function. It's here, and I can print also. After empty this uh, the container ship, it's already empty. But after doing this, I have the number of movements, and I can print the number of movements. I can say any move. It's a very very simple way of doing this program. Okay, people. So uh, oh, let's see. CS. Okay, it's not defined. It's true. Sorry for this confusion. Okay, CS1 is defined. So, uh, reverse. I, I wrote this thing. Reverse. No, it's correct, this parameter. Reverse is true. So, this is the total number of movements. As you can see, I have a 5 here. I have 5 more and 13. Okay. So uh, this is the way that this room will fill, will load cargo on a container ship. As you can see, we start the lowest uh, values of uh, the bottom values in the stacks using the uh, the farthest uh, destination, container destination, seven, six, five, five, four, four. So it's filling by select just a bay, and for each bay, select a column and for a specific column start from the bottom uh, index of the, the the row of the row in this column and you are just filling a uh, per bay in a container ship the using this strategy we can uh, build another rules we can see in the next video another type of loading rule and you can build any any other 
types but uh, this is a very simple structure here and we follow this very simple structure obviously we can change the order of these three loops and can get a different combination of rules okay so we will explore this uh, uh, first class it's too long but it's important for the next class to build on another rules so thank you for your attention if you like it please make me a like also in my video and uh, post some comments post some uh, uh, engagement because this will help me to understand what are the needs or what is good or not in my channel thank you again and see you on the next video bye